Residents in the village of Sirakoro in southwestern Mali are getting ready to welcome visitors. The village has never had electricity. Now that's about to change, thanks to Torsten Schreiber and his wife, Aida. They're the founders of a company called Africa Green Tech. They arrive to great fanfare. Their company brings solar power plants to remote villages in the Sahel region. Everyone here has been looking forward to this day for a long time. It's such a relief to finally achieve this and make it possible for the people here. This has taken nearly nine months of preparation. When the moment finally comes where you know, now it's happening, tomorrow there'll be light, it's a great relief. While the villagers celebrate, the Malian technicians from Africa Green Tech set to work. There's lots to do before the lights can go on. After the long journey, every component needs checking. The container spent six months at the customs office, followed by a long drive lasting many days over sandy roads. The solar system costs 150,000 euros. The hope is it will strengthen the local economy. To make a solar plant like this worthwhile, you need a village with at least four to 5,000 residents. We also look very closely at whether there's potential for a productive use of the electricity. Unlike home solar power providers, our focus is on strengthening small and medium-sized businesses. So we want to know are there carpenters and welders and tailors here, and we look for 40 or 50 small and medium-sized businesses. Aida Schreiber was born in Mali. She's particularly keen to help the women here. Many of them sell goods. She wants them to benefit from the new supply of electricity too. Most of the problems that the women here have stem from the fact that they have no access to education. As a result, they're much more focused on having children, and the birth rates go up and up. What Africa Green Tech does is offer them an opportunity to receive training and improve their chances of earning money. If the economy in the village improves, the residents will also have more money to invest in their children's education. So beyond providing electricity, it's also about improving the villagers' prospects. The security situation in the Sahel region is obviously a major challenge for us too. But we believe we can create peace by providing clean energy and addressing issues of clean water too. When electricity allows people to increase their income, they're more willing to reconcile with each other. In many of our villages, these conflict situations have been reduced. In the village of Joliba, a five-hour drive away, that's already evident. Here, a solar plant from Africa Green Tech has been operating for two years now, and the local economy is flourishing. Umar Keita runs a restaurant on the main road that leads to Mali's capital, Bamako. He also has a workshop and a chicken farm. I was already on my way to Spain, but when I heard that electricity was coming to Joliba, I came back and opened this restaurant. And thank God I'm now earning enough. Umar Keita has also created jobs, providing a secure income for many other families in the village. Aida and Torsten Schreiber keep contact with customers like Umar Keita to learn from their experiences. His success is confirmation that they're on the right path. When it comes to fighting the causes of migration, our experience shows that many projects address the wrong part of the problem. They focus on migrants returning home, seeking to reintegrate them through training. But we need to address the issues that cause people to leave in the first place. If you give people prospects, they'll want to stay. Obviously, you can't reach everyone that way, but certainly people like Umar, who want to make a difference. Back in Sirakoro, the work is nearing completion. 
the last few streetlights are being hooked up. Some, who were previously undecided, now want to sign a contract with the company, as they see things are really happening. Salif Konate's wife sells vegetables and poultry, so he wants electricity in his house. I signed the contract because I want to buy a fridge. Then my wife will be able to keep her produce fresh for longer and get a better price for it. My children will be able to study better and life here will be safer. Customers do have to pay for the electricity, but it costs a lot less than power from the diesel generators that are so widespread in Africa. It takes about 15 years for the company to get the money back on its investment. 18 solar containers are already up and running, including one in neighbouring Niger. Four more are on their way to Africa. What motivates us as founders is wanting to make a mark, bring change and inspire others to follow suit. For me personally, helping the environment is key. I want my children to know that I at least tried to change things and didn't just watch as everything got worse. Towards evening, everything is finally set up. The control systems for the batteries are tested once more to ensure there will also be power when it gets dark. That was an important moment. If the storage systems weren't working, that would have been it. But now we can produce light.